Hello everyone, it's January from Craft of Giving and in today's video I'd love to share how to make this beautiful DIY button necklace. So to make your button necklace you will need of course your buttons. Now I have a really large jar filled with buttons and I'm just sorting to collect all the small ones and all the pretty ones. Now you can stick to a colour themed if you wish, I am not fast so I'm just making mine a nice little rainbow coloured one. To actually build your necklace you'll need to find these tiny little circle findings that you can open up and then close again so that you can attach these to your buttons by opening it up and hooking it through one of the, the, the holes of your buttons. Now try to use buttons with four holes rather than the two otherwise you might be a bit limited as to what you can do with the patterns of your necklace. I'll show you here in a second. So for my first line of mother necklace, I connected all my buttons together by adding three links in between each one. So the first one I would open up and connect through one of the holes of my buttons. The next one I would hook through the hoop and then the next one would connect through that spare hoop and into my second button so that they all connect this way. So in between each button, there are three links. So for my second line of my necklace, I'm adding a button to the spare link on my first line. So in between the two buttons, so that's the link that we added. So number two, if we're going to name them, or number them, I should say. And then creating a little line of three that's running down vertically. So then I'm going to loop that around and attach the third button back to my first row in between the second button. Like this so to create like little loops in between uh, my buttons now you can decorate your necklace any way you like by connecting them any way you like this is just how i did it so this is my first line of the three linked and then my second line are these three little buttons i created into little loops by adding only two links in between the buttons then for the third line i went ahead and created another row of buttons by just adding one i mean two links in between so connecting them through the buttonhole and then attaching another loop to another button and just created the loop that way by connecting all the loops together if that makes sense now that pink button I just added I actually went back and removed it it was a little bit too big for my needs and then just to replace it with another one so just to explain a bit better so the top line is our line of straight buttons with three links in between to create that little gap for our loops in our second row that we made with the three buttons and then connected them onto the ones that do not have a button attached to them to make that a little bit easier and then the third row is just straight buttons that I've connected and sort of create a loop as well by connecting it back onto the loops of the second row of buttons and then just to pull everything together I went ahead and created my own chain by using the spare little links and combine them together by opening them up, adding it to the next one and closing it again. So basically just creating a chain of links. I went ahead and attached that to the end buttons by inserting it through one of the holes of the button and then attached it to the other side of the necklace's last button. And I thought that was just a cool way to bring it all together. This necklace is definitely a conversation starter and it's super easy and super inexpensive to make. It is also a very fun way to use up any spare buttons that you may have lying around your house. I think this is such a fun necklace to make for that friend of yours that really likes jewellery that is not mainstream and especially the handmade kind of jewellery. Uh, perhaps you can make it for yourself or for your friend. Now if you like this video please give it a big old thumbs up, leave me a comment down below letting me know your thoughts, share with your friends and subscribe to my channel. I upload every Monday and Thursday and it will just notify you when I do that and I make videos on handmade gifts and other fun DIY projects. You can also check out my previous videos by clicking on the annotation on your screen if you're on your computer or in the links down below if you're on your mobile or tablet. I thank you so much for watching and remember to be crafty with your giving and I'll catch you next time. Bye.